What's going on YouTube, Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I present to you guys a Shell Smash Blastoise team for Regulation F. Now, since I've been releasing Regulation F content, a lot of my comments were like, yo Jeans, where's Blastoise at? When are you doing Blastoise? Blastoise this, Blastoise that. I got you guys today. Finally, got my hands on a Blastoise team and I couldn't be more excited to showcase this Pokemon. Now, Blastoise gets access to Shell Smash, which is one of the best setting up moves in Pokemon. It really is. You get plus two on special attack, plus two on physical attack, and plus two on speed whenever you use it. But at the same time, when you use this move, you do get minus two defense and special defense. But that is where the white herb item comes into play. Whenever you use Shell Smash, you'll get all those boosts, all the drops, all that good stuff. But the white herb will cancel out the defense drop. So leaving you with just a plus two in special attack, attack, and speed. So if we can get Shell Smash set up with Blastoids, we're going to be thriving out really, really well. Blastoids has other moves such as Flash Cannon, Hydro Pump for big time stab damage, and Protect for its final move. Palmot in our bottom left hand corner is going to be a perfect Pokemon to pair up with Blastoids because I can lead them both, drop a nice little fake out, and then kind of get that Shell Smash set up from there. We also are rocking Tornadus on the scene. Tornadus is going to be great for speed control and setting up that Rain Dance, allowing Blastoids to get the HP at the end of every single turn due to its Rain Dish ability. We got Snorlax in the top left hand corner, great Pokemon within the Trick Room, and great Pokemon with a bunch of good coverage moves. And then our final two Pokemon in the middle are Bach and Dragapult, big time attackers that can do a lot of different things such as taking off items or just picking up KOs when we need them. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? I got the rental code in the top right hand corner. If you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you get on top of that. Click that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Stephanie Peak. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code for me. Cannot wait to use it, and hopefully I showcase it. Well, hopefully I grab some wins for you guys. I just think this team right here is off meta-ish, so if we're going up against like meta teams, we're definitely going to have a tough time. But let's see who we're going up against in match number one. Right now, we're going up against, ooh, ooh, something scary, something real scary, Shen Pao Dragonite. Always scary, always a little bit of a problem. They also have Maridon alongside with Golden Go, Iron Hands, and Mouse. So who should I lead here? Honestly, I think Palmot and Blastoids can get things started really well for us, and that's something I really like. So I'm gonna go in Palmot, I'm gonna go in with Blastoids alongside with Dragapult. I do like Dragapult, and now I wanna just check out these things EVs real quick. Attack speed, not too shabby, and alongside with you, what are you Blastoids? HP, defense, and special defense. So trying to be bulky here, right? We're going to get a lot of our special attack from Cell Smash. So I like that. I don't mind that. Um, final Pokemon here could be Tornadus just for late game speed. Or I could go in with like a bulkier Pokemon such as Snorlax with a bunch of coverage moves, right? We got Heavy Slam to deal with that Shen Pao. We also have Wild Charge and High Horsepower. Not too bad. I mean, Assault Vest, eh, it's an okay item here. Or we could just go in with Arbok, Leer, all that good stuff. Yeah, I kind of like Arbok. I kind of like Arbok here. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to go in with Arbok. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Using this off meta blast, we'd seem. Hopefully, grab ourselves some wins in today's video. I think it's going to be tough to grab some wins, to be honest. Looking for at least one. So I'm telling you guys, if we're going up against like Incineroar or Rillaboom, we are going to have a tough time. Because this Dragapult is actually not clear body either. So again, tough times. So they end up leading Shen Pao Dragonite. Not too bad. Could actually, ooh, could kind of be rough here. And I might just want to start attacking. I might just want to start attacking. Definitely want to fake out here. And I'm going to fake out the Shen Pao because you might be inner focus. And then we can just go for a Shell Smash here. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to Shell Smash up. I'm going to fake out the Shen Pao. Hopefully Shen Pao tries attacking us and we can pop uh, Focus Sash if they do have it. And then Dragonite, mm, you're looking scary, Dragonite. Like an E-Speed Dragonite is just brutal. E-Speed Dragonite is just brutal. The so Fake Out comes out here from Palmot, beautiful. We're gonna make you flinch and E-Speed's gonna attack Palmot, which I love, because I got Focus Sash. So he ends up critting there, not too bad. And I should be able to get off this free, lovely Shell Smash. So now we're Shell Smash sitting. We got some lovely speed cooking. And I think from here, our best bet might just be to swap Palmot and Intimidate. Could definitely be your best bet, right? 
Because we can intimidate with Arbok. We can actually bring out a Pokemon with solid moves. We can try to get Rippin. Our stats are really good right now. So Blastoise is chilling here with some good stats. I think, again, we should swap Paul Mott into Intimidate. Two physical attackers that can work wonders. And then I just want to see Blastoise stats. Look at that. Look at those stats, baby. Looking awesome. Attack plus two. Special attack plus two. And on top of that, we got lovely little speed plus two. So now I could go into a Hydro Pump if I want to. But I think Flash Cannon does more damage, right? Hydro Pump would be stab, but Flash Cannon's going to be do a little bit more damage here. Right? Yes. Actually, Hydro Pump does more. Because you're going to only be doubled for 160. You're going to be stabbed for actually 165. So yeah, Hydro Pump actually does more damage. So I'm just going to go into a Hydro Pump here and swap to Palmot. So Palmot gets a swap here. We're going to go into Arbok. We're going to drop both these physical attacks minus one stage. Unless Dragon Knight's inner focus, which it most likely is, right? Yes. Eat B inner focus. But we do get that, uh... We do get that down onto the, uh, the Shen Pao. East Speed's gonna fly into Blastoids. I'm able to soak. And Icicle Crash is gonna come across here. You're still outspeeding my Blastoids? That's a little ridiculous. My Air Balloon pops here, and Hydro Pump's gonna connect. So Hydro Pump coming in hot here. Do we KO? We do KO. So big time KO coming out from Blastoids. This one's still gonna be tough for me. It's gonna be a tough matchup. Definitely a tough matchup, because another East Speed KOs me. Another E speed KOs me. So maybe do I just glare him? Maybe put a paralyze onto it? And protect the blast suites this turn? I could hard swap into Dragapult. Could. But they now go into Iron Hands. So Iron Hands comes out here and I could leer, I could glare, I could knock off items. You could be choice ban as well. You have gunk shot. I'm just going to knock off Dragonite's item, and I'm just going to protect you. So I wonder if that's a choice band. I'm very curious to see if it's a choice band. He might just eat speed my Arbok. I'm just going to fake out my Arbok. And wow, crit on that? Why are you doing so much damage to me? E-Speed's going to fly into you. Okay. I see. I understand. Arbok's going to flinch, and I'm just going to go into a... Lovely little knockoff here. I'm gonna hard swap you into into Dragapult. This is tough. This is real tough for us. So I think they're sticking with E Speed into Blastoids. I'm gonna swap to the Ghost type Pokemon. And I'm gonna get cooking. And now I bring out Dragapult, and there's the E Speed. We're able to block that. Yo, this is so tough. This is so tough. Knockoff's gonna come through here. Are you Bandit? You were Choice Bandit, so it actually helps us out tremendously. And Volt Switch is gonna come out here. KO and Arbok, and he's gonna be able to pivot. So he's gonna pivot into their final Pokemon. We know they have Iron Hands. Dragapult's really gonna be the Pokemon that we need to clutch up here. We definitely need him to clutch up. We definitely need him to clutch up. So from here, they go into Golden Go. And with Golden Go, um, I could go into Palma, but we're, what is Palma really going to do? I could go for a Revival Blessing. Huh. Or I could just go straight back into Blastoids here. Because I can't fake out any of these guys. One, One's in their focus and the other one is, is Ghost Typing. So what I'm really thinking here is just to launch a Dragon Darts with the Choice Band and go for a Revival Blessing. So I'll go for Revive Blessing. I could also go for Phantom Force, which is not too bad here. And just outspeed. But then I'm choosing this move, and I really think I'd rather be choosing Dragon Darts. I really think I'd rather be choosing Dragon Darts. I do have Steel Terra. And I think I'm going to Thrastalize. Yeah, I'm going to Thrastalize and Steel, and I'm actually just going to go for a Phantom Force. I'm going to go after Dragonite. I'm going after Dragonite with it. And the reason I say that is because if we choice in it or if we go down in the Phantom Force, I think they just hard swap back into Iron Hands at that point. So I'm going nice, lovely Steel Terror type. This is just to help us out with, what's it called? With the Dragon move coming in or a Steel move from coming in or even a Shadow Ball. The Terrasalize is going to be great. So today I'm Terrasalizing as well and they're going to Terrasalize Dragonite. Which is going to go into the normal typing. So... 
Okay. I see you. I understand. He goes normal type here. He's going to probably e-speed me. Yep. And he's going to take out Paul Mott. So this thing is just... Oh my god. Just such a huge threat. Just so annoying, this Dragonite. Just bothering me. It's so strong. It's so strong. Phantom Force. We're going to go down and we're going to dip out of here. Back Phantom Force out. Um, I'm forced to bring back out Blasters. And without that choice band, we actually might be able to survive a... We might be able to survive an E-Speed. I am just going to protect this turn. I'm going to let Phantom Force do its work. And we'll see how this one plays out. Because I'm really hoping Phantom Force can just pick up the KO. Especially with Choice Band going, right? Choice Band would be perfect. Choice Band KO would be very nice. It would be beautiful. But yeah, Blastoise back out here. That's the only KO in this battle. Just with Dragonite out in the field. It's just, oh my gosh, it's just a problem. It's just a problem. So they end up withdrawing gold to go. They're going to bring out their fake out user. And from here, we're hoping that this Phantom Force can just stump. Because if this Phantom Force stumps, we actually have a. We can actually make a nice little comeback going here. E Speed's going to fly here. We get the big time protect. And Phantom Force is going to get cooking. So how much damage is this going to do? Oh my god, I totally forgot. It doesn't affect the normal types. That's tough. That is tough. I totally forgot about that, but I use that move before they terrestrialize. That's real rough for me. So from here, they're probably going to fake out my Dragapult. And actually, I can't KO anything unless I KO this Dragonite, right? Fake out's going to come out here. It's going to fake out my Dragapult. And this is just tough for me. ECB going to come out here, and that's KOing me, right? That's bad news. That's bad news. So rough. Just a rough first match. Real rough first match. We're going to try to hop into our second match. Look to make things a little bit better, but I don't know if we can, man. I don't know if we can. Rough first match from us. Rough first match. Let's hop into our second match here. Let's try to turn things around here. Match number two coming at you guys. Hoping to grab ourselves our first win. That Dragonite was just too overpowering for this squad right here. But I'm trying to think of ways we can actually win. Because like I said, if we're going up against any meta team, it's going to be tough to win with this squad. And I believe we're going up against the same opponent here, right? Yeah, the same opponent's coming out here. So we're going to have to figure out a way to kind of get around this Shen Pao Dragonite. Shen Pao Dragonite is just, oh my lord. Huge threat. Huge threat to me. Um, I'm thinking of just going Dragapult for the lead, right? Dragapult, pretty solid lead. I can Terrasilize very early on here, and I can just rip Dragon Darts, which I think is going to be my best bet. So I'm going to go Dragapult here alongside with Arbok. Just Intimidate. I'm down with it. I'm definitely down with it. So I'm going to go in with both of them. I am going to bring, not Snorlax, Blastoids in the back end, alongside with, I think, Tornadus. What is your thing? Special Attack and Speed. Not too shabby. Do I just go Tornadus? Kind of want to. At the same time, I don't want to. And I think I'm just going to go Palma instead. Because we have Volt Absorb. We have Fake Out. We have Focus Ash. And we're looking for a little revenge game here. Little bit of a revenge game. So we're going Dragapult instead of Blastoids for the lead. And we're going to try to get Ripping here. We got Shell Smash Blastoids out in match number one. Actually did really well up until the Dragapult. Or not Dragapult. The Dragonite was just ripping into me with, uh, with all of its moves. So they end up going into the legendary Pokemon. Maridon's going to come out here. And... I believe they just fake out my Arbok, so I can protect, I definitely want to go into a Dragon Darts here, right? And I'm thinking of just terrestrializing my, my, what's it called, my Dragapult, right? Makes sense. So from here, we're just going to check out Maridon's typing, I believe it's Electric Dragon, right? Yeah. So I'm definitely terrestrializing, and I'm ripping the Dragon Darts, so I'm going to go Dragon Darts here, and if I can, I would love to pop a Leer here, but I think they just faked me out regardless, I don't have Protect on this Arbok. So we're trying it, we're trying with an off meta team, really hoping we can grab you guys a win, really hoping it. So, they're definitely going to fake out the Arbok, right? And then I think from here, Maridon's just going to try to rip into me. One way or another. Maybe going for a Dragon move into me. Something along those lines. I do have probably... I'm probably faster than that because Dragapult is ridiculously fast. So I'm hoping Maridon does not terrestrialize. It'd be beautiful. It'd be lovely. Just keeping it Dragon-type. And then me being able to do some big-time damage onto it. Would be perfect. So I see our opponents actually thinking good bit and i'm another thing i'm hoping is no no dragonite and chen pao in the back end because this that's just gonna clear me out 
So I'm gonna end up terrestrializing here. Fingers crossed for them not terrestrializing, and we're looking just to do some big time damage. The Dragapult and Blastoise are pretty much the two Pokemon on this team that we're gonna need to actually win these games. So big time Steel Terra coming out here. He ends up faking out the Arbok and Dragapult. You go first, right? Show him that you're faster, right? You are. So Dragon Dart's cooking. Big time damage on the Maridon, which we love, and solid damage onto that Iron Hands. He ends up going for Dragon Pulse, and this is exactly why we Terrastalize. Wow, that damage? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. So from here, another Dragon Dart should finish off the Maridon, and do we Gunk Shot? Do we Leer? Do we knock off? You could be bested. You could be bested. Um... Gonna be best. I think we're just gonna leer here. I think we just wanna lower this defense stat here. I think that's what we're gonna try to pull off. Nice little leer. So I'm right on chill on the field. They end up hard swapping it. I'm curious to see who they go into. They're gonna go in the Shen Pao. So Shen Pao is gonna get after it. It's gonna take a Dragon Darts. And it is gonna go minus one on defense, which is pretty good. So Dragon Darts flies out here, halves its damage, which is big. And we bring you down to half. So we got half on you, half on the other one, and we end up picking up a leer. The chance our Iron Hands probably just drain punches me, right? Finishes me off. Now you go for a close combat, which is fine. That lowers your defense a bit more. But the defense is down. The Shen Pao definitely looking a little scary. I think we bring out Palma here. And I think we just get attacking, right? I think we just get attacking, right? Palma with the sash? I could revival blessing. I could revival blessing if I want to. I could. I think I'm gonna save the revival blessing because I think I just want to go for a nice little fake out onto you. And I think I just want to try to get off a gunk shot onto you. It is physical attacking, which is awesome. And we have this thing minus three, so yeah, I'm going for that. I'm doing. I'm doing exactly this. I'm doing exactly this. Please, no Dragonite in the back end. Oh my God, Dragonite just so ugly it's just such a pain right it's such a pain so we still have blastoids which is pretty good but we know what they have we know it's probably uh dragon it ends up going for the protect as long as arbok lands this gunk shot we will pick up the ko which is massive and then we could go for a revival blessing next turn so arbok do your thing love you gunk shot landing ko in it's ko in. cool so making progress here I still have focus that, so as long as they don't double down on Palmod, I could pop this Revival Blessing. That'd be perfect. That would be perfect. And Dragonite comes out here. Mmm. Hate <laughs> this thing, man. Chill. This thing's got chill. So Revival Blessing, trying to get after it. And from here, do I just knock off Choice Band? Or do I go for KO on the Shen Pao? I wonder what it's going to choice and do. That's the real question. We still have Blastoids, which I love. I'm going to try to KO Shen Pao if I can. So out comes Terra. They're going for normal Terra. Normal Terra looking for the KO. And they're going to choice an E-Speed. I wish I still had my Ghost Typing, man. I wish I still had my Ghost Typing at this point. That would have been massive. That would have been massive. And he goes for the E-Speed. Into who? Palmot? Into Arbok. So Arbok dies, but we got Focus Ash. That's going to guarantee us getting off this Revival Blessing. He goes for a Sucker Punch. So, oh, I, oh, we love that. We love that because now I still have Focus Ash. Now I still have Focus Ash. And I revive my Dragapult. Hold up, Dragapult. Get back here, yo. You ain't done. You ain't done. We revive him. And I can bring him out here, right? Is it a safe bring out? Or do I just bring out Blastoise here? I think I'd bring out Dragapult. I could bring out Blastoise and just protect. That is that is a that is a thing we could do. But you know, what? I'm gonna go Dragapult. I am going to go Dragapult. So I'm gonna go Pult here. I'm gonna go into a close combat into the Dragonite slot. Look to hit this thing as hard as I possibly can. And then just throw Dragon Darts. Wait, did I Terrastalize? Who did I Terrastalize? Why is my Dragapult not Terrastalize right now? I 
Wait, when you swap now, you don't get your Terra back? I... Wait a minute, shouldn't my boy be Terra? Actually, that works out fine, not really, to be honest. I'm gonna actually try to get rid of the Shen Pao here. I'm gonna hard swap. Because now I'm Ghost type again? That's weird. That's weird. And I know your choice banned into... I know your choice banned into... Into E speed. So if I swap into Blastoise, I think I'm going for Sucker Punch here. I can just dodge that. And as, again, as long as you're not doubling down into my Dragon or my Palm Out, we should be fine here. And as long as you're not doubling down here. Cool. Awesome. So yeah, we should win this match, no problem. We should win this match, no problem. But where did my Terra go? Very confused, very confused. Big time plays for me there to actually dodge that sucker punch and remember that this thing is choice banded. So now he's choice banded E speed. I have ghost typing on my, on my, what's it called? I have ghost typing on my Dragon Ball. And oh, I forgot they have a ride on. Oh no. I forgot they have a ride on. I'm gonna swap in and protect now. This is just a weird match. This is a weird match. I mean, I'm just thrown off right now because I terrestrialize into steel, and when you swap and swap back, you should still have your Terra. But I don't have it, which is weird. So I'm gonna swap into you. I think E Speed is gonna come into that slot, and I think an electric move is gonna go after Blastoise. So I'm looking just to get out some fast Pokemon. There's the E Speed. Electric move hopefully going into the Blastoise. Electro Drift. I believe that only hits one Pokemon, right? Don't tell me it hits two. Yes, solid, 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 solid. So now we go for Dragon Darts. And now I can just go for a Hydra Pump and do some damage into you. That's the plan. That's the plan. That is the plan. Oh my lord. We are just swapping in and out. Like I said, if we want to win with this team right here, we have to play crazy good. We have to play crazy good. So they're going to E-Speed... My Blastoise now, as long as Dragapult can outspeed, we win this match, right? As long as I can outspeed. I totally forgot they had my on in the back end. And it, and it just threw me for a curve. So here comes the East speed coming out here. Going into the Blastoids. I'm able to soak. Can you outspeed Dragapult? You do, and we're going to win this game all day. Thank you. Awesome. Beautiful. Dope. Cool. What a weird match. What a weird match. But I pulled it off. I pulled it off. Big time win with the Blastoise squad. We definitely earned that one. And I missed my Hydro Pump. Oh, no, I landed it. Cool. And I love how they updated it. The Hydro Cannon comes out of its cannons now. Hydro Pump and Hydro Cannon comes out of its cannons. Awesome. It looks all It's dope. So I'm just going to stick with another Hydro Pump. Dragon Dart should finish this one off. He's going to E-Speed me. Whatever. I should have just protected, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. He's choice banned in E-Speed. And somehow I got my typing back. Oh, because I revive. Okay. Makes sense now. Makes sense now. Actually worked out perfectly. It worked out better than we could have thought it. Because if we did not have Ghost back, we probably would have lost that match to Dragonite. So Revival Blessing clutching up. We're one and one. Let's go hop into our third. Look for that winning record. What a second match that just happened. Solid match all around. Really threw me for a loop. Swapping in and out. Actually making really good plays. And honestly, that Revival Blessing was pretty clutch for us. But hey, we're 1-1. One one. We showcased Blastoids pretty well today so far. And we're looking for a nice, lovely winning record. We're going up against a tough team. I would love to go in the Shell Smash Blastoids. And you know what? I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to try to pull this off. Go Tornadus and Blastoids alongside with Dragapult and Palma. Where do I go Arbok? Kind of like Arbok. His moves are pretty solid. You got Knock Off. Do some big time damage, all that good stuff. I'm about it. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a winning record here in match number three. But match number one, we versed the same opponent as we did in match number two. And this team is, is it's tough to play with. An off meta team. It's tough to play with them. And I feel like we're doing pretty well today. Especially that second match. I thought we played really well. Just after that whole terror situation, it really just threw me off. But they end up going into both of these guys. I really want to shell smash, but at this point, I'm just not going to. I think I just set up a, I think I just protect and set up a rain dance this turn, and then we kind of go from there, right? Because they're going to use my white herb, I'm going to set up the rain dance for uh, rain dish, and they probably fake me out here as well, so. 
I'm just gonna go into Tailwind, or not Tailwind, Rain Dance, because I think they're gonna go into Tailwind, and then I can Tailwind next turn and just pretty much set it up the same time as them. So out comes the lovely Intimidate, taking my beautiful White Herb away. I wanted that. I wanted my White Herb. And Incineroar probably fakes out the Blast Switch, right? Most likely. Most likely he goes for a fake out on the Blast Switch, or he could just hard swap. It don't matter. Yeah, you're just gonna hard swap. So they end up hard swapping turn one. I drop a nice lovely protect. And I get off the rain for me. So Reggie Gigas comes out here. Slow start. Are you skill swapping? You might be skill swapping. This could be a problem. This could be a problem. You're skill swapping. I know you're skill swapping. I should have just taunted that Latios. Now you're gonna tailwind. Uh, do I taunt that? I think I taunted. I think it's gotta be skill swap, right? I think it's gotta be skill swap. So, you know, we're just gonna start attacking that. And I'm just gonna taunt this thing. I got Prankster. It can come out before any move that it's gonna use. And yeah, we're taunting this thing. I'm just not, I'm just not dealing with it. I'm just not dealing with a skill swap and that handing it or taking off slow start. So, I'm taunting that. Get on out of here. Done with that. Done with that nonsense. Was I right? Going for Simple Beam. Yeah, same thing. Thunder Wave's gonna come out here. It's gonna slow down my Blast Swords. Okay, so Blastoids gets a slowdown. I'm at least going for a Hydro Pump here. I have a feeling I'm gonna miss. No, I connect. Cool. So Hydro Pump's connecting. Probably not doing any crazy damage, but actually, I like that damage there. I like that. So we get off some nice damage, and I'm just gonna keep firing these Hydro Pumps that way. And I could set up a Tailwind if I want to, but I think I just Bleak Wind Storm here. And set up a Tailwind next turn. I like that. I think we need to, I think we need to just keep pressure here and put some damage on the field. So Blastoids not doing bad today. I actually really like where we're at with Blastoids. First match we got that we got everything set up, and then second match uh, it didn't do too bad. We kind of won off of swaps and Dragapult. But now this match is just really not doing too bad. So they intimidate me again, which again I don't mind. I don't mind. And Bleak Wind Storm's gonna fly here. Maybe we get some speed drops. Maybe we get some speed drops. No, of course you Citrus Berry too. Hopefully Blastoids can still take you out with a Hydro Pump. That's cutting it close right there. That's going to be cutting it close. He ends up Thunder Waving me as well. Okay, I understand. I'm just going to set up a Tailwind this next turn. Hydro Pump does land again. We love it. We love when our Hydro Pump lands. And Blastoids gets rid of the Regigigas with a crit. Big time KO. Big time KO from us. So, nice call for us to taunt at, uh, at last turn. And good thing our Hydro Pumps are landing. So now we're sitting here both paralyzed. Don't like that. I simply don't like that. And they have been sitting where ready to fake out. And to be honest, I think I might just attack. Because they seen me protect last time. So I think from here, we should just tailwind and just attack with Blastoids. Because they might think we're just protecting. Nope, they just faked me out anyway. Okay, no big deal. No big deal, because now we set up tailwind for late game. And they're going to start attacking me. Or just going for a simple beam. That's fine. That's totally fine. So, this thing acquired simple. Cool. Rain Dish gonna give us back some HP. And I'm just gonna look to rip another Hydro Pump. Another Hydro Pump coming at you. So, Hydro Pump, and we'll rip some more Bleak Wind Storms. Cool, so Tornadus and Blastoise is actually doing some pretty good work early on here. Nice little lead for us. Taking out Reggie Gagas. If I can pick up another KO with both these, that'd be beautiful. And save some Tailwind turns from, from my squad. That'd be nice. But I shouldn't have read the Terra. Obviously, they were going to Thrash Slice and Cinnaroar. But I was hoping they weren't. And they're going to pull it into Grass type. Yeah, Grass type. Which is actually not bad. I got Bleak Wind Storm flying. I got Bleak Wind Storm flying. So, as long as we're not paralyzed, we should have a solid turn here. Bleak Wind Storm still outspeeding it. Almost picking up the KO on to Incineroar. Heal Pulse going to come out here. Of course you rock and Heal Pulse. Neil Pulse gonna come out here and bring that thing up really high. Hydro Pump gonna connect again. We're just landing Hydro Pumps left and right. And he's gonna go for a bulk up. I don't mind that. As long as I just hit that thing with a uh, Bleak Wind Storm, it's dead. Cool. So Rain is gone. I could set up Rain again, but I think for now we just go for Bleak Wind Storm. And we launch a Flash Cannon in this slot. The reason I'm going for Flash Cannon is because I don't have the Rain up. So I don't really want to waste... Uh, Hydro Pump when I only have two left. 
without the rain. So I'm gonna go for Bleak Wind Storm here. I'm gonna rip a Flash Cannon. Just like to chunk up damage with Blastoids. Lovely little Blastoids. And I'm actually glad I'm actually doing pretty good with this team. I didn't think I would do this good with it. But Bleak Wind Storm finishes off the Incineroar. Bang, bang. Big time lead for us. And the Paralyzers are just not affecting us right now. Fingers crossed. I don't want to jinx myself. I'm gonna be Paralyzed this turn. I know it. Since I said that. He goes for a heal, heal Pulse. It's gonna fail. And Flash Cannon's gonna connect. Sweet. Oh my god. Love it. Love it. So now they're forced to bring out their final Pokemon. And we still have two back-end Pokemon. One of them being Dragon Ball. They're going to bring out Rillaboom. Alright, now I don't like this. Now I do not like this. So, I could Hard Slap into Arbok. And I think I am going to do that. Or do I just let Blastoids die? It's really, what are you going to do, Blastoids? If I swap into Arbok, obviously we're going to Intimidate. I think we just let Blastoids die out here, right? It makes the most sense. It does make the most sense. So I'm gonna go play Quint Storm. I'm gonna rip another Flash Cannon, and they just cancel battles. So two and one, rocking out with this Blastoids off meta team. To be honest, guys, after the first match and looking at this team, I did not think we were going to do that good with it. It's definitely an off-meta team, and in order to win with it, you have to be playing really good. But to be honest, I think we played really good today. Like I said, after the first match, we kind of got cooking. Match number two, we played pretty well. And then match number three, Blastoids and Tornadus just killed it. They were thriving with the Hydra Pumps, the Bleak Wind Storms, big time taunts from us. Everything was just working out perfectly. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.